Hi friends, my name is Lindsay and welcome to my studio. This is the art making part of the Everhart Museum's workshop. Today we have a fabulous art project. We're going to make animal glitter paintings based on Hunt Slonum's Diamond Dust Bunny paintings using colorful backgrounds, liquid glitter, and black paint. Hunt Slonum is a very, very fascinating artist. Here's a picture of Hunt Slonum in the middle. Can you see him kind of closely? He, um, he's a very serious painter, and besides making paintings and drawings and prints, he also designs fabrics and wallpaper and carpets. He's very, very versatile. He's, he's, he's very talented. He has over 50 parrots flying around his New York City studio loft, and his work is inspired by nature. He loves color. He loves repeating images a lot, and he thinks that children should have a lot of color in their lives Good idea. Bottom line, Hunt Slonum loves to paint a lot. So these are some of his, of his parrot paintings. These are some of his butterfly paintings. And I believe the Everhart has this painting in their collection. You can tell he loves color, he loves repeating images, and he loves nature. And these are images of his bunny paintings and we're going to base our project on this series of bunny paintings because these bunny paintings are done on canvases that have been prepared with real diamond dust. So the, the paintings kind of, kind of sparkle. And these are, these are amazing paintings. I think you agree that he, he is so talented, brilliant, and he loves, loves color. So the important words for this lesson are repetition, pattern, and gesture drawing. So in art, repetition just means when you repeat an image over and over again, and pattern is the effect that all of these repeated images create, and a gesture drawing is one where if you take a, a pencil or a magic marker or a pen, and you draw very quickly, not very slowly with, or with detail, but if you draw really fast, that doesn't, matter, it doesn't do anything. If you draw a dog really fast, and in this, in this kind of quick style, that is called a gesture drawing. So we're gonna use this kind of drawing in this art project. <clears throat> kind of crazy. So for materials, you will need to create some colorful backgrounds. So I suggest you either use colored construction paper, like this, which is fine, or if you want, you can just use some white paper and, and create some beautiful colored backgrounds with either paint or markers or colored pencils or crayons. Whatever you have at home will work. You will need some medium, some transparent base. So if you happen to have any Mod Podge, that would be great. If you happen to have any medium, this would work as well. And if you happen to have any glue, all of these three things would work to make your liquid glitter. You will need a wide brush, so you can apply the liquid glitter onto your colorful background. And you will need a brush with a rounded tip like this to draw your animal on your background. And you will need some glitter. I happen to find some glitter that is actually called Crystal Diamond. It looks like diamond, but it's not really diamonds. I found some black glitter called Onyx, which is kind of awesome. So if you want to make a, a dark painting, you can apply this black glitter to the dark background. If you have any, if you have any gold glitter, that'd be great. If you have any pink glitter, that'd be great. Whatever you have at home will we'll work in this project. So here's the deal. I want you to think of an animal that you like, that you love, that has some meaning to you. It could be your dog, or a cat, or a dinosaur, or a bunny rabbit, or a turtle, or a monkey, or a parrot, or a butterfly, whatever, you, whatever animal you like a lot, I want you to draw that animal over and over and over again until you know that animal. I drew my dog Maggie 34 times because I love Maggie. I also love to draw really fast. 
So I did a lot of drawings with Maggie in a very quick gestural line. And then after you do this, I want you to um, you know, get your colored background, get them ready, and then we're gonna make some liquid glitter. So I took a container like this. I already made some, but I'll make some more. I poured some of the, of the Mod Podge in my container like this. This is so much fun to do. I love glitter. And I poured some of that beautiful diamond dust into the Mod Podge. You kind of want to put a lot of glitter because the more glitter you put, it'll be sparklier. And then you stir the two together with the end of a paintbrush or a dowel or a stick, whatever you have at home will work. And then when you have this pretty much stirred up together, so it's sort of, you know, not too thin, not too thick, it's kind of like this, easy to apply to a piece of paper, you are ready to start painting this onto your colored background. So we're gonna go over here, I'll meet you in a second. So I'm applying some glitter, some liquid glitter to my colorful background. And once the whole piece of paper is covered with liquid glitter, After it's completely covered with the glitter, I'm gonna apply my very, can you see the glitter? I'm gonna apply my very glittery black paint onto the surface. So it'll be glitter on glitter. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Here's her face. Gloppy, but that's okay. Gloppy is good. Here's her eye. Her other eye. How much fun is it? I hear her whiskers. And when this dries, it's going to be fabulous. Just fabulous. We would love it if you could send us pictures of your animal glitter paintings. We'd love to see what animal you chose and how it looks in Sparkle. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. So thanks for coming and see you next time.